Hey, hey, it's JJ, and this is going to be me cleaning my son's room. Um, just look at it. Yeah, there go me. And that's the hair color I was telling you guys about in my last uh, hair dyeing video. That's the color it ended up being, which I do love. <clears throat> but this is the room. I went to go grab me a trash bag because I can already tell there's going to be a bunch of stuff that needs to go. There's some cute stuff there, but I know there's stuff where he done put slime all in it or made some concoction with um, his cousins and, and just it, it's ruined. So there's no need in keeping stuff that I can't have. And just in case you were like, it's not that bad. Up close and personal, baby. Look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this, and look at this, and look at this, and look at this, and look at this. <laughs> so that's me just fixing the camera. I'm using his shelf to do this because I need somewhere to have it sit. I wish I had something where it would just move where I moved. I want that, that, um, he is so extra. Somebody just texted me and went across my screen. They so extra. I have to text them back because that was, no, you didn't. But anyway, I'm going to be sitting right here struggling to open this trash bag for a little minute. But once I open it, I'm going to start tossing things because there's just things that he just don't need. Like, you see that bunny rabbit up top? It's blue. It's got something yellow with some white clouds on it and, like, some strings sitting on top. That's a bunny rabbit. That bunny rabbit has been here since, what do I want to say, last Easter. My mama got him a chocolate bunny. What does he still need this chocolate bunny for? He ain't never gonna eat it. He ain't ate it. If he eat it now, he'd probably be sick. So chocolate money gotta go. It's just a lot of stuff that makes no sense. And at this time, I'm sick too. I think I got the flu. You're gonna see me just toss stuff on his bed, like teddy bears in his bed. And then I'm tossing stuff in the corner, things that um, I'm gonna give away. And then there are things that are just trash that is gonna be going in the bag. But um, yeah, I'm sick of this. Look at the dinosaur and don't got no tail. Took the tail off of it. Just don't make no type of sense but um yeah i'm sick i my mother said i had the flu i'm not sure if i had the flu or what i had i know it wasn't corona because i took the um test and came back negative so i didn't have corona but my son went to his dad's house he caught something he was very sick he had a sinus infection and everything and it just it just was horrible I finally took, I had taken him to the doctor, got him some stuff to help him, and he's good. I'm hoping when he comes back, he doesn't have another infection. He is allergic to dogs, so, or dog hair, or whatever dogs got on their body, maybe. Um, so, that's something I have to always watch out for. I don't know if his dad gives him the tablets or not, um, allergy tablets, so... When he comes home tomorrow, I'll see if he is really sick or had an allergic reaction. I'll see what's going on with him tomorrow. But, you see, I had to throw him away because I know some people might be like, why you throw that away? I'm going to show you. See that big old hole right there? And they've been taking the cotton out of him. I mean, I'm sure somebody could sew him together, but come on now. He got to go. This is the second Spider-Man doll I bought him to. So I'm not about to buy no more Spider-Mans. But, um... And that has gooey nastiness in it. But again, like I said, um... I don't know what I got. I just know I kept throwing up. 
feeling sick. My mama said it seemed like the flu, so I'm going to go with what mama said. I like the snake. I'm going to throw him over there. I don't want to get rid of him. His Uncle Jeremy got it for him, and he going to throw a fit if I get rid of it. This is Chef Pee-Pee. I didn't know that was his name. I thought he was just a cute little, you know, Muppet. My son was like, I really want a Muppet. I'm going to get that away because you know, he's not playing with it. He drew on that. He's just don't care about anything. I was telling my mama, I was like, look at it. I don't care about nothing. And they don't. Yeah, I was just sitting there complaining and fussing because what mama don't <clears throat> got to sit and complain because we got to clean up the mess they make. I know a lot of parents are like, no, I don't. I don't clean up nothing they make. They make that mess, they're going to go in there and clean it up. <clears throat> that toy is a robot Ryan toy and it's missing some pieces, missing a whole leg. But, um... That's something he got out of school last year. And I'm like, why is it still here? Even the bucket. And I'm happy I threw that bucket away. Because what he need that bucket for? He ain't about to play with that bucket. That thing was expensive. My dad got my son one and my niece one. And they was playing concoction. And now I'm showing y'all they go to Dinosaur Tail. But I honestly don't know which one it is. Hers or his. But I ain't never seen them play with it. So it's gone. I told them when I walked in there, I said, whatever's on the floor, I'm going to get rid of. And I sound like a real mama. Because <laughs> ain't that what mama say? If it's on the floor, then you ain't want it. So it's got to go. And that's how it is. Debating if I want to keep that or not. I know my... um nephew likes to play with little squishy things there's a lot of stuff in this room that my nephew likes to play with so i'm considering not only stuff that my son likes but also things that i know the other kids want to play with in the room you know to keep them busy but yeah i don't even know where to start you see me just looking around like ugh, i don't even want to do this i'm sick i'm tired i feel some type of way a lot throughout the video I deleted because like you could just see I was just well you can't see me but I just laid on his floor because I was just I was feeling real bad <clears throat> but he has been sleeping in my room and I'm sick he can't be in the same room with me right now and I'm sick and I kept asking him I was like why are you in my room like what is what is going on and it's because his room looked horrible. And he's one of those kids where he just don't want to sleep in his room when it looks horrible. It has to be clean for him to want to be in it. But that's something me and him talked about. You got to keep it clean. You like your room, you got to keep your room clean so you could be in it. So, yeah, I'm just... And that's got gooey slime stuff all over it. He's, I'm just over his boy room. I'm just over it. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm over it. And that I gave away too. I'm about to grab, that's what I was telling y'all about, about the Easter Bunny, um, chocolate Easter Bunny that I'm getting rid of, because, you know, can't eat it. What is it there for? Decoration? 
this sword. I done, it's already been broken in half and everything. And I'm tired of them running around beating me with it. So that had to go too. I'm tired of getting hit with swords. Don't make no sense. Be running after me like little Chuckies and stuff. Trying to get me. <clears throat> so I'm looking around because I'm like. It's just so much, and I don't know what to do with it. My little bag is already looking full. But I also got to get that stuff down from the shelf. There's some stuff up there at the shelf, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, why? So here I am. I'm going to leave and come back with one of my mama's stool things, footstool things. I don't know what it is. But I went in there and got it because I seen her step on it. So I figure I could step on it too. That's his dinosaur mask. Um, I'm saving all his masks because when we move, I want to put his mask around his room. Like like they're popped out of the um, wall. I think that would be pretty cool. I think that's a cool idea. I feel like I've seen that on Pinterest somewhere. So I want to do that. And then have like a little wardrobe with his little costumes and stuff. So he could just wear it. But you could just tell. I'm just like, look at this. What am I supposed to do with this? Because I have no real... Um, I ain't really think about like where's all this stuff going to go. <laughs> I'm just like, I just need to fix this room. So he could get out my room so I could lay in my sickness without causing him to get sick again. Okay, here I am with the stool thing. She's got something. It's like a four-piece. They all connect. <clears throat> but I call it like a footstool. I don't really know what it is. You can use it as a table. I Like I said, I don't know what it is. I'm standing on top because y'all seen that bookshelf part that he had. I'm just throwing stuff, tossing it, getting rid of stuff. I took out a lot of this footage because you can't really see nothing but me standing on top of a footstool. So it's no need for all of that. But yeah, I got rid of a lot of stuff up top, a lot of junk, and then I'm back, <clears throat> looking around to see what else I need to put my hands on. I'm doing the whole mama pose, like, look at this mess. So, I'm going to start right here get some stuff from right here and put it up because I made room on the shelf so now I gotta put some of the toys up on the shelf and these are toys he don't really play with but they are like cute little keepsake type of things for me um because it's like you know like Pac-Man it looks like one of them game machines but they're the little small version so I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna set that up there Eventually, I may let that go and give that away, too. <clears throat> and I'm going to move this table. You tell somebody been knocking it. It's a basketball table. You see the strings and stuff? It looks like a hoop. And it's so cool. And so what I had did <clears throat> was I got this hoop. Um... <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I got this hoop table and I got this hoop carpet. So it looks like you could run up the carpet and make a hoop in the basket. Like the carpet is like the the um you know what I'm trying to say, like the little place you roll up on, run up on the court. 
there you go. The carpet is like the court and the table is like the basketball hoop. I thought that would be such a cute, unique idea. And then this clock, that little square clock, is a basketball on the table. And um, it changes different colors. I also got like the cover, the comforter, and on the side of the wall is like a little hoop flying in the air. Because my son was like, I want to do basketball, I want to do basketball, and I just, I went all out for him. And then I realized he only wanted to do basketball because his big cousin was doing basketball. My son don't even like basketball like that. So that was a waste. <clears throat> he was like, he don't want to be a basketball player. He don't want to be a soccer player. He don't want to run. He don't want to do track. He don't want to do dance. He don't want to do gymnastics. He want to learn some tricks, but he don't want to do gymnastics. He don't want to be a cheerleader. What he wants to do when he grows up is draw. He wants to be an artist. So he wants to go to art school. <clears throat> and I was like, oh my gosh, you gonna cost me money. <laughs> I don't... <clears throat> That's something him and his dad gonna have to... Talk, well, no, that's something me and his dad is probably going to have to discuss because I know his dad um, knows about art schools and stuff like that. So <sighs> try to get him a scholarship, but he's only six. So <clears throat> this year he wants to be an artist in about two or three years. He might actually want to play basketball or football or soccer or something. So... I'm not I'm not stressing about it cuz again he's 6. <clears throat> I like to have everything done before he really like if he wants to do basketball, I would love to have him already joining some stuff so he could prep himself for that. But again, there is no telling what these kids really want to do until they are a certain age, so I'm not going to stress it and I'm not going to stress him. It be whatever he want to be. Whenever he want to be it, as long as he let me know. So I'm picking up the stuffed animals and <clears throat> I'm just, you can tell I'm still kind of sick. I keep going with the, <clears throat> picking up like the um, coat hangers that don't, with them little parts of the hangers that don't have the, um, you know what I'm saying. They don't have the actual coat hanger part that goes with it. I'm just picking up random toys, setting them on top of the um, shelf, making sure everything looks neat and everything, at least up top there. Picking up random stuff. Yeah, it's mostly just me just walking around, picking up stuff, trying to figure out what I'm going to let him keep, what he is going to be getting rid of, well, what I am going to be getting rid of. Because I know there's a lot of stuff that he has that he doesn't even, like, play with or look at it. Like, look at that hockey thing right there. Them toys I'm going to set out and give to some kids um, cause like I said, they're cool cars, but he's at the age now where he doesn't even care about cars, so, and that's still even in a box, and it's a, um, what do you call that, boy, cat boy type of thing, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna set it, um, out for the kids and let them have it. <clears throat> There's this little spot where like if you don't want something you just set it and nine times out of ten a bunch of people just stop by and just grabs it so and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go set it on that little table across the street and see if somebody grab it and <coughs> those are like the little pencil things for his ipads that he just look at all that falling that he just breaks the bottom part so i gotta throw those away i'm telling you they just don't care about nothing
whole stuff. <coughs> So yeah, I had to sit down for a moment because I just kept getting lightheaded. I'm about to toss that because <clears throat> it's got, it's like, I don't know, like, <laughs> just went flying. <clears throat> it's like it's, it had like some juice, it's not juice, but you know how you see that little stain, like maybe, because he has three lunch boxes. And one of them is um, in his book bag, and that's one of them. And it's got like, <clears throat> like a sticky kind of stain on it, which irritated me because it's like, boy, you know that this needs to be white. That looks kind of still brand new, so I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna keep it, but it's like you know that it was stained. Like, why didn't you bring that to me? Yeah, I kept getting sick and dizzy and feeling like I was going to throw up. So I had to stop a few times, throw up. And then it was like I was so cold, which is why I got on this sweater. I got on some um, pants under these little um, Christmas um, pants because I was so cold. And then it's like something hit me and I just got so hot. I kept feeling so hot and nauseated. But um, that's his little desk. And we're about to go through that and see what I need to toss. And what we need to keep. You just see my face. I'm like, look at this crap here. <laughs> And welcome to the, um, desk thing. Like, banana erasers, trash, broken pencils, bitten pencils. He's just got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I'm sitting, y'all like on top of the thing and trying to <clears throat> show you guys a couple of the stuff that I'm getting rid of like the broken erasers the bitten erasers I don't know I don't know why I gotta put his mouth on everything but here we go Now I'm just ripping the, the um, carpet up. I am super hot and sick. You just tell. And just getting some stuff up. Um, I'm going to be so upset about this because it's like he broke it. This Ryan airplane. Like, you know how many kids would love that little stinky toy? 
and you got the nerve to break it. And I did it because all them little things on his um, basketball table are Ryan's. They're Ryan toys. So I bought Ryan and the little homies some uh, uh, airplane. Like, <sighs> just rude. And I um, got him a little car. Again, not doing nothing with that either. So a lot of these things, I'm just going to either, if it's missing doors and stuff like that, I'm going to throw them away. But if they are in pretty good condition, I'm just set them on that table like I told y'all. Um, This lamp, for some reason, keep falling. Y'all like that little blue trash can I got him? To put his like, little candy paper wrappers and stuff. I'm holding on to myself because, like I said, I'm super tired. And this is where I normally would put the Ryan toys in this um, treasure chest because I bought this treasure chest for his birthday or something like that. Maybe last Christmas. And it came with some Ryan toys. So I'm putting some of the Ryan toys in there. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw some of them in this bucket. Which I did because under his bed, he's got like four totes four little totes and they have toys in them and I'm gonna pull them out so y'all can see them and um what I do is I take the totes yeah I'm pushing that against the um light so the light won't fall or nothing because sometimes that light is wonky and it falls my mama want this colorful light for his room so bad and she was like I got it I finally got this light but she only got one light bulb in the light. She was like, that's bright. That's really bright. He don't need all that light. So it was like, why'd you get the colorful light for? We could have just got a regular lamp. But I'm very appreciative of it. I love it. When we um, eventually move, I won't be bringing that light with me because she did pay for it. And I'm not going to bring this bed with me. I'm going to buy him a whole nother bed, like a lead um, light bed. I think that would be pretty cool for his room. It's something that he really wants. And um, he's outgrowing this twin-size bed. So I'm going to get him a full size instead. I mean, really, he's not really... I mean, he's skinny, so... You know, but he's long, so... He's outgrowing it lengthwise, but this is me pulling the stuff from under the bed because I'm trying to position it in the middle anyway because I'm going to be moving the bed over too.
Okay, so um, this is like a Bluey's little dollhouse type of situation. There's some little dogs live in it. I don't know where the dogs are, where Bluey and all them people are. He probably got rid of it in some shape or form, or I probably threw them away. But um, he got this dollhouse. He bugged me for it. And my dad actually took him to the store. He was like, pick anything you want. And my son picked this. And my dad was like, it's like $20. You always picking something cheap. Pick something you really want. But that was something my son really wanted. And only because he knew my niece would play with him because she liked dollhouses. Now, you see me move the bed and you see the bed go down. When my dad um, fixed his bed when we first bought it, which it ain't been long. We bought the bed, and um, he tightened the bottom leg too tight. Me and my niece, we fixed this bed ourselves, but the bottom half, I was having problems with, and I was asking my dad, hey, can you just, you know, fix this bottom portion? And he tightened the leg too tight on it, and it broke. But all I do is take the leg and, see, stick it back under there. And it's perfectly fine. My son weighs like what? Probably like 40, 50 pounds, give or take, maybe 60. So it ain't like he jumping on this bed and it's going to collapse. But like I said, I am getting him a leg, a lead light, um, a lead light bed. And I was going to see if my bestie would put the furniture together for us. But I kind of already know he's more so of a, like, you know, you should pay somebody to do that. <laughs> he's, like, one of those guys. So I probably will just have to pay somebody to put the furniture together for us. Um, those tops, I just set the bucket parts on top. So when you move it, you can tell it'll go out easy. It pulls out easy for him. Because if I put the tops on top of the thing, he's just going to unpop it and throw it or just try to slide it under the bed anyway. So I'm just, you know, convenience. And now I'm getting his um, stuff together. Just trying to organize and get things straight. Coughing my little lungs out. Moving his desk back to a little corner. And instead of his bed just being in the corner in the cut, like, you see me. I moved it to the middle because when it's in the middle, it's facing the door. He likes that because he could just, you know, roll off the bed and go straight into the bathroom. And he can see who's walking back and forth by his bedroom door. He likes to be visual. He likes to see people. And, yeah. Yeah. It is also nice because, you know, I could walk around the bed, you know, and it's, I don't have just one lane to go through. I could walk around this corner. I could walk around the other corner. It's convenient for me too, because like I said, I can have access to him, which means when I walk by the door, I could see him. <laughs> and if I walk inside, if I want to walk to the uh, right side, I could see where his little face is and how he's laying. If I want to walk to the left side, I can see his face and how he's laying. Um, <clears throat> he likes to sleep with things on top of his face. I don't like that because ever since he was a child, it just looked like he's suffocating himself. He is a child still, but you know what I'm saying? When he was really little, like toddler stage, it looked like he was suffocating himself, and I did not like that. So I always come in and like readjust him. Like, if his face is under something, I kind of take this um, foam pillow and move his head onto the foam pillow because I know that his, um, I know that his face will still be propped up and I can see his nose. I can see him breathing. That's just super important. <laughs> they say if you have a second child, you just kind of know that they're breathing. You don't even bother. But with that first one, it's just different. And he's my first one. He's my only one. So, you know, I'm always going to be overly protective of my son. Because I'm a mom. 
And he's my only child, my only boy, my baby, my everything. <laughs> I'm just walking around trying to pick some stuff up. That book bag, fun fact, not really a fun fact, but I'm just going to tell you. You guys remember when I said that kids were always touching his book bag, so he don't like wearing it no more. He refuses to wear it for school now because everybody keeps touching on it and popping it. And he'll tell them, you cannot touch my stuff. Stop popping my bag. And they'll keep doing it. So he don't wear it no more. He only uses that book bag when he goes to his dad's now. Because he still got to use it. Because, I mean, I paid for that thing. You still going to use it some way, shape, form, how you going to use that thing. And I'm taking a little break. And I'm going through my phone because I need to pick something else to listen to for a minute. So I can just get myself together and finish what I need to finish. Because I am clearly sick, exhausted, and, you know... If y'all didn't notice, I changed my sweater to my uh, to a t-shirt because I don't know when that switch happened, but it happened. I, uh, I I kept throwing up. I kept throwing up. I kept getting overheated. I kept throwing up. After I finished this, I went and took me a shower, and that felt not great. You know how they say take a shower and let it just soothe your skin? No, I should have took a bath and just soaked because I felt so weak. I couldn't even stand in the shower. I took everything off, and then I had to go to the bus stop and go pick up my son and walk him home. It was... <sighs> it felt like a lot for something that I'm always used to doing. But when you're sick, everything is just so extra. And plus, I did this, too. So it was even more extra. It was just unnecessary work that I had to do. And thankfully, his room still looks clean and nice and neat. He likes it like that now. He's like, I really love my room. And when he first got home, he stayed in his room. Like, I could not get him to come out of his room. He was chilling. He was like, nope, I'm in my room. I'm happy. I'm doing what I want to do. He'll come check on me a few times, and then he'll go back to his room which was pretty cool. I like that he likes his own thing. It's, it's cool. They grow up. They kind of, you know, start doing their own thing, having their own personalities. It's, it's kind of cool to see. So it was cool to see him be happy and excited and just like, no, I know where my stuff is and I'm good. Now, the next thing I'm going to have to tackle is his dresser because we had fixed both dressers to where they were nice and neat, and now it's not. And I wanted one of them small, like, long-shaped dressers, but the people accidentally sent me the wrong dresser, so, you know. I tried to get it, and they were like, we sent you the wrong one. Can you just keep that one, and we refund you $10? They never refunded me my $10. But I did keep it. It was kind of broke anyway. So I really wanted to return it and just get the one I asked for and I initially paid for it because I wanted it to be like a set. But it's whatever. I'll try to get it the next time. Probably off a different site. <clears throat> it is what it is, right? He needs another dresser anyway because look at all these clothes. Now, I'm taking all this, and I'm about to go drop it in my um, basket. Well, his basket. He has a laundry basket in my room. I don't put it in his room because, you know. So, I have a basket, and then I have, like, a little stand between our baskets. So, when he comes home from school, he knows to throw all his dirty clothes in his particular little basket. So, I know to wash it. Like, Spider-Man suits, everything. If it's dirty, you know to put it in there so I can wash it. So I'm taking all his stuff, and I'm going to wash it. But this is the end results because it was getting boring. I know y'all ain't want to watch all that mess. I cleaned it. I folded all the sheets. All I got to do left is vacuum. 
and we're good. And that closet won't shut. It's got all my mom's like blankets and all that kind of stuff in there. So she said she was gonna go through that and get rid of some stuff. I'm not bothering her. It's nice enough that she lets us borrow the room and let him have it. But this is him eating and about to go to sleep. He loves it. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.